Welcome to Lions Live. Today we're giving you the latest in world news and Lions sports. Prom is steadily approaching here at LHS. Braden and Emily are back this week to give us all the details and to make a few matches. Finally, Varsity Choir has just finished their competition season, earning all sweepstakes scores. We sent in some of our own to see how hard choir really is and to learn the method behind the music. All of this and more today on Lions Live. Good morning and welcome back Lions. I'm Mallory Lesser. And I'm Drew Dunson. We kick off today's broadcast with Macy Hill and newcomer Rylan Long as they share news from around the globe. Rylan and Macy, how's the world out there? Hello everyone, I'm Rylan Long. And I'm Macy Hill and we're here with your world news. On March 29th, a writer for the Wall Street Journal was detained by Russian officials on the charges of treason and espionage. Evan Jerskovich appeared in court in Moscow on April 18th. Jerskovich, seen here with his arms crossed and locked behind a bulletproof glass enclosure, was in court to appeal charges and ask for bail. The judge denied the $50 million bail and put Jerskovich under house arrest. Jerskovich remains in prison in Russia and will remain there until May. Over 40 countries around the world have followed the lead of the U.S. and condemned Moscow for the wrongful detainment of the journalist, citing concerns about Russia's intimidation power over media outlets. Thanks, Macy. Now we have a story for you about some very hardworking honeybees living the city life. Scientists say that honeybees could be the key to study studying microbiome and the health of the residents in major cities across the world, from New York City to Melbourne to Venice and Tokyo. Research indicates that the honeybees act as living, flying DNA swabs that, when studied, can, be, can construct a genetic signature of a city. Researchers say that this science is beneficial to the overall health of residents living in the major cities by studying the environment in which they live. That is all for your world news. Drew, back to you. Thanks, you two. Be sure to keep tuning into Lions Live for global news updates. Next, LHS juniors and seniors are getting excited for prom coming up in just one week. Braden Vickery and Emily Alvarado are answering all the burning prom questions and heading out into the halls to play matchmaker with some of our future attendees. I'm Emily Alvarado. And I'm Braden Vickery. This year's prom is April 29th from 7 to 11 p.m. at Angelina College in Livingston. Tickets are for sale in room F259. That's right, Brayden. And with prom just around the corner, we went to the cafeteria to find everyone a prom date. Um, do you have a day for prom this year? No. Uh, what interests you in girls? Um, them being smart, nice. It's not. It's not about the looks. It's what's. It's what's in the inside that matters. Oh, um, how many service hours do you have? Um, like twenty. Uh, do you think you're pretty funny? Yeah, I think I'm pretty funny. Uh, pop a little joke for us. Um, why the chicken cross the road? Why? Because. <laughs> Do you have a prom date this year? No. Um, what interests you in guys? Um, I would say he would have to be tall, handsome. Um, he has to know how to dance. <laughs> okay, how tall are you? I'm 6'6". Six, six. Um, do you know how to dance? A little bit. Can you show us a little something? Okay. <laughs> <laughs> you got a date to prom? No, sir. What's your interest in girls? Big waist. All right. <laughs> What size pants do you wear? Uh, 34, 34. All right. Uh, do you have a prom date this year? No, I do not. Uh, what interests you in girls? Um, blonde, athletic, and can dance. Oh, okay. Um, what kind of sports do you play? Tennis. And do you know how to dance? Sure. Can you do a little move for us? <laughs> do you have a date for prom this year? No. Uh, what type of interest do you have in girls? Um, I like them blonde. Um. Blue eyes for sure. What kind of eye color do you have? Blue. And what kind of hair color do you have? Blonde. All right, thank you. Uh, do you have a date to prom? No, I don't, unfortunately. What do you like in a woman? She has to be funny. Oh, she has to solve an aerobics cube. Wow. No, I not. Do you know how to solve a Rubik's cube? Yes. You can? Yeah, I can. Oh. Thanks, you guys. Maybe you can find me a date to prom next. Next, Gage Morris and junior Jaden Vickery are here to celebrate the Lions sports success and tell you who to be cheering for in the next week. Here's Gage and Jaden with sports. Livingston, I'm Gage. And I'm Jaden, and we're here to start with your sports news. 
To start off, Galf has finished their spring competition. Thursday, they competed at the Bearcat Course in Huntsville for regionals. The team placed fifth overall with nine strokes away for qualifying for state. On Thursday, the golf team celebrated Tugger Cherry, a senior golfer who has qualified for regionals three years in a row. In addition, senior Janae Bland qualified for regionals for girls golf for the second year in a row. Mm -hmm. We are so proud of the Lion Golf Team for their amazing seasons. On Thursday, track competed in their area meet. Congratulations to Vanessa Bowers for advancing to regionals for the second year in a row as a sophomore. Be on the lookout for regional track meet in the coming weeks so you can be there to cheer her on. Baseball played Huffman last Saturday and lost 6-5 to five, sadly. We almost got them. Softball had their last home game on Tuesday where they honored three seniors, Janae Bland, Olivia Houston, and JC Lynn. They played against Harden Jefferson and lost 10 to six. What a season, Lions. That's all we have today for Lions Sports. See you next time. Go Lions. Rawr. Thanks, Jaden, and way to go track for all your area successes. Speaking of success, Varsity Choir has just finished their competition season. Last week, they traveled to Silsby to compete in the 4A District Concert and Sight Reading Competition, where they received a score of straight superiors across all three competitive choirs. Needless to say, we were pretty excited. Now, choir is preparing for our Spring Showcase on May 2nd and polishing our national anthem to be sung at the Green and White Scholarship Night. That's right, Mallory. Sloan Curtin and Josie St. Martin are back this week, but this time undercover as students in the third period varsity choir class. From shower singing to sight reading, it seems Josie and Sloan may have caught the choir bug. That's all we have for you today. As always, thank you so much for watching and make sure to stay caught up on the LISD Facebook and YouTube channels. We'll see you next time on Lions Live.